Alright, what's up guys? This is Guild Wars 2. I figured I'd do a little quick review. So, let's see what we got going on here. They've got the five races. Char, which are, I don't know, wolf doggy looking things. I think. I don't know. Let's see. Char race, blah 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 blah. Uh, human, of course. What game doesn't? Norn, which are really like humans, but taller and more in tune with the wild, I guess you could say. Asura, which are weird little things, and Silvari, which are plant people. I've already made a Norn, and because I like my character to look good, I'm gonna go human-looking ones. We're gonna choose female. And I want to make a guardian, so we're gonna go with that, but I'll go over these. Elementalist, you got your four attunements, which you can change. Um, you've got fire, air, earth, and water. Of course. And you can use a bunch of different weapons, so the class per se is really just what weapons are available and your skills, but, like, if you choose an elementalist, I believe you're not stuck, you know, like, casting spells from a range, you can get, uh, I know there's dual daggers, and stuff, stuff like that. Warrior, everyone knows what a warrior is, guardians, like, paladin, but instead of healing, you can kind of cast buffs on yourself, and allies. Engineer, basically gun, totem, ranger, we all know, heads and stuff. Necromancer, which uh, has little bone fiends and all that poison magic and such. Uh, thief, well, everyone knows what thief is. And Mesmer, which pretty much is an illusionist type of thing. You can make clones, you can blind, daze, and confuse enemies really easily, blah blah blah. I'm gonna go with Guardian. So here you can adjust your height, we're gonna make her short. Physique. Um, it really doesn't change that much, but... Yep, look at that. The belt moves like way up. Why? Her boots get smaller and the belt goes up. I don't know. That looks legit, right? Yeah. Yeah, we'll go with that one. I actually kind of like it just like that, but we'll see what other hair options we've got and such. Her face. No, no. Yeah, that one will work. That might be the one we started with. Wait, what's the skin color? Hair. I kind of like the white hair. Considering it's like a paladin-ish class. Can't really zoom out, so... all the hairs. We are going warrior type fighting style, so I almost want to say that one, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That, that's pretty weird. I would only go Necromancer with that one. So crazy. But, uh, I think I like that one. Accessory. There's no accessories, so... Um, yeah, we'll 
stick with this one. It's got face details. I, I don't even mess with those. Armor dies. Now this is where you set up the basic dies for your armor. I kind of like those ones, but let's see what else they got. These colors are the same, as far as I can tell, for every class. I don't see anything changing. Oh, there. class as far as I can tell. So Conqueror's Pauldron is when I was young a famed hero returning from battle stopped and gave me his pauldrons. Ever since I've worn them as my own and I make an attempt to live up to his legends. I too will be a conqueror. Okay. Fanatic's Pauldrons. Oh wait, do they change? They do. So you, wow, I don't want the helmet, that's okay. You could just go based on looks, or you can, uh, I don't know, go based on the background. This one, long ago I determined my path and nothing will sway me from it. Stalwart. I'm stalwart in my beliefs and immo immovable in my loyalties. The weight of my pauldrons rem <laughs> reminds me of the burden I carry. Or visionary's helm. Materia is bigger than we know, and filled with mystery. This helm is open, kind of, allowing me to see with clarity. With it, I seek the world's greatest truth. So I'm gonna go with these ones. Trouble may follow me, but I use my charm, dignity, or ferocity to overcome it. I'm not really sure what this does. Um, I chose charm on my other character, but... Let's see what dignity is. Just, I'll use dignity. I'm going for a hero looking character, right? I was raised in the streets by common folk among the nobility. Um, by common folk. Which one's worse? In the streets? Yeah, probably. I was raised in the streets. One of my biggest regrets is that I never searched my true parents. I never recovered my sister's body. Wow. I passed up an opportunity to perform in the circus. I'm gonna go for this one. Tragic past. Everyone said I was blessed by Duena, the goddess of healing, air, and life. Grinth, the god of darkness, ice, and death. Balthazar, war, fire, and challenge. Uh, Melandru. Nature, Earth, and Growth. Alyssa, many masks. She's a dual-faced goddess of beauty, water, and illusion. Or Cormier, the goddess of order, spirit, and truth. I'm gonna go with Duena because we are going for a nice-looking. I don't know. We're going for a hero-looking person. So, uh, a name. It basically says all the stuff you put in there. And then you sign it with your name, and that's how you name your character. A lot of names are taken. Um, I don't know.
Let's try that one and see if it works. Probably already taken. Near, uh... The human race once ruled Tyria. Now, we struggle to hold our ground. We've been defeated, driven back, and broken. But we will not surrender. So many nations have fallen. Only Krita still stands. Our faith is strong, despite the silence of the Six Gods. With courage, we'll make our stand in Divinity's reach. The city is my home. I grew up on the streets. Although I have friends, my life has always been hard. I faced the worst this city could throw at me, and I sent it home bleeding. I'm done living hand to mouth. There's a war on our doorstep, and I refuse to be buried by it. Today, I stepped outside Divinity's Reach, hoping to find better luck outside the city. Problem is, when I arrived in Shamor, the village was under attack by centaurs. Innocent villagers are in danger. Someone has to help. I can take care of myself, but that's not enough anymore. Someone has to help those who can't. This is my story. Defense of Shamor. So yeah, that's pretty much how they all start. They put together what info you put in, what class you are, what nation you put in, or not nation, but your race. You know, all that stuff. So it's pretty cool. It builds your story as you go. Um, there's really not a whole lot of loading screens, although they do take a few seconds. The game overall is pretty nice, and you'll see why as soon as the loading screen's over. <laughs> Talk to Corporal Bane. Alright, so... My graphics are maxed right now. <laughs> I'm gonna lower it for the sake of this. Alright, I'm Please, right I there. need your help. Because I changed the screen resolution for recording. Please, I need your help. But um, let's talk to this guy. Shut up. Everybody, get to the inn. Everybody, get to the inn. We can protect you at the inn. Everybody, get to the inn. We can protect you at the inn. That's it. All right, so they're already under attack. So it's a little weird. I've never done this storyline. Combat's pretty cool. Your your uh, weapon skills depend on what weapon you're using, which means you can change your weapon and basically change your, I wouldn't say roll, because there is no, like, healer tank DPS, it's just like, everyone for themselves, kind of. Basically, 
you learn the skills of your weapon by using that weapon. What do you need? Sergeant, there are more centaurs on the other side of town. Captain Thackeray's calling for reinforcements at the garrison. If he's calling for help, it must be serious. But I can't spare anyone. I'll go. Captain Thackeray's never failed Divinity's Reach. If I can help him, I will. Balthazar, bless you. That's the spirit that'll win this war. Good luck. I thank you. Time to kick some butt. So yeah, you also get these, which are definitely one of the four skills. Some classes have four, some have As you can see here, it shows what each hit does. It's basically a combo skill. You'll use it over and over, and the first one is the bottom one. So it'll smash your foe, then it'll bash your foe for more damage. And then the final hit will heal nearby allies. If you go to your weapon skills, it'll show you what you can get for each weapon. Yeah, basically the stamina will say it's the dodging. Fresh 
should have been the tutorial zone. So now we should be transported to... Oh, cutscene. Well, you know, talking scene, I should say. Where am I? What happened? You were injured when the elemental exploded. Captain Thackeray brought you here personally. You've been unconscious for three days. You had lots of visitors. Villagers you rescued, some Seraph, and a nervous, shady-looking character who came by every day, but wouldn't give his name. That'd be my friend Quinn. You might want to check your supply cabinets. I'll find out what he wanted once I'm fully recovered. What should I do now? Fresh air and exercise are the best medicine. The goddess Duena helped you. Perhaps you could help others? Thanks, I will. And thanks for taking such good care of me. Bless you. You'll find plenty to do out in the valley. May Duena protect you. Alright. So right now I'm in Overflow, which is just another server when you're not on the actual one. So, shield is what I want. And that's that. Um, you can basically do everything else you could otherwise. Hey, over here. If you want to so know what's going on in the valley, right the come mace. talk to me. If I equip this on my offhand, I'll gain the shield skills. This is the personal heal. And, let's see, slot skills are for these three. But you unlock these ones at level 5, these ones at 10, I think. Or you have to buy more of these to get these and so on. And elite, you need level 30, so. This is for your story, basically goes through it all. There's achievements, crafting, and all that fun stuff. And, uh, that's basically how it all works. If I had another weapon, I could show you, but... Basically, I've got a mace. These are my three skills, so if I threw on a sword, these three skills would go away, and I would gain these, and I would have to use the sword to unlock the two that are still dark. So... If you look, I think it's here somewhere. Um, where's the staff one or something? No, it's not it either. But basically, okay, yeah, staff right here. This one, orb of light, can be detonated to heal allies. So, if you're fighting a monster and your allies are dying, let's say you're a mace and shield like I've got now, you could throw on a staff if you've mastered that skill, use it, and also this one right here, here nearby allies, and uh, go back to your staff and hammer, which I think is cool because you can... You're not stuck doing the same thing like you are in other games. Hey, over here! If you want to know what's going on in the valley, no come talk to me. You. So... Hey, oh over here! God. Shut up. If you want to know what's going on in the valley, come talk to me. So that's pretty much it. Um, if you look on the map, these are waypoints you can teleport to. If you see these, these are skill points you can get random quests. Sometimes you just kill a monster there. Sometimes you just walk up and push a button on the little rock or Duena whatever. can heal the soul. And there's professions. There's vistas, which just like show you stuff. There's scouts like this, and they'll tell you something like this scout could show you this part of the map and tell you there's a skill point there or something like that. Stuff like that. And guardian trainers give you traits, which I can't show you, because you need to be level 11. So, I guess we'll just have to see if I get that far. Hey, over here! If you want to know what's going on in the valley, come talk to me. But yeah, that's how it works, so uh, I'll be playing more. I'll probably be live streaming it instead of actually recording and uploading, so 
you know, it depends how many people are interested to see. Hey! Oh my god. Over here! Hey! Oh my god. Over here! <laughs> and if you it, want to know uh, what's going on in the valley, come talk to me. people would actually be watching and stuff. Because I'm sure I know lots of people like to watch, but I only have so many subscribers and all that. So even if people did want to watch, they wouldn't find my channel to watch. So they'd be watching other popular viewers. Or streamers, I mean. So. But whatever. I'm flying. And, uh, yeah. So, if you want more, just let me know. Like, favorite, comment the video if you can. Fall damage, no? Yeah, a little bit. And, uh, yep. I'll see you guys next time.